Hello readers, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about The Magic Fish by Chung Li Wen. Originally published in 2020, this graphic novel follows Tian, a second generation Vietnamese American kid growing up in 1990s America. Tian is discovering his identity as a gay person and wants to tell his parents, but he doesn't have the Vietnamese vocabulary to explain the concept and he worries that his parents wouldn't understand if he tried to explain in English due to their limited vocabulary. As a means to escape from the complexities of his life, Tian loves reading fairy tales. Within this story, we read three different fairy tales, all from different perspectives and all of which highlight the differences and ultimately the similarities between generations and cultures. Now to go into the plot and pacing. The Magic Fish is essentially a coming of age story. Tian feels like he exists in a place of in-betweens. He's in between childhood and adulthood. He's in between his Vietnamese and his American cultural identities. He's in between innocence and having his first school crush. As he's maturing and beginning to question his sexuality, but also more complex questions in general, he's finding it more difficult to communicate with his parents. This story really examines the many ways in which we can communicate with one another and the universal language of love. The pacing throughout is pretty steady, medium tempo. This isn't an action comic book or story of that kind in any means. It really feels like a graphic novel, emphasis on novel. The author is telling a straightforward narrative. One thing to note is that there aren't any standard chapters or separations of any kind within the story. The book is written as a singular story and it can be read straight through. Now to go on to the characters. So firstly, we have Tien, who's a second generation American kid navigating growing up. He's our main character throughout. The other main character in the story is Tien's mom, Hien. She's a first generation Vietnamese American. She and Tien's father both work full time and want Tien to live a happy childhood. She left her home and family around the time of the Vietnam War. Now to go into some of the main themes in the story. So number one, this is definitely a story about immigrants. It's an immigrant story. If not directly talked about in the story, we're at least referentially told about things like language barriers, culture shocks, or cultural differences. And something that I personally thought was really interesting and, and powerful in the story was that it's showing it, it's not just hard for people to immigrate. In other words, the immigration itself isn't particularly the hard part, but it's everything that comes after that as well. Learning about new cultural customs, language barriers, finding steady work and income, or simply trying to find your new identity within a place that you weren't born into, and sharing that experience with your children as well. The second major theme kind of running throughout the story that I wanted to touch on was this idea of the magic of stories and specifically fairy tales, at least for Tien. While reading The Magic Fish, we really learn that stories span cultures, generations, and identities. And I don't want to give away too much, but we see throughout that stories can also act as powerful unifiers. They inspire children to dream of possibility. They impart lessons of what life can be, and they ultimately show the similarities between humans. Now to talk about some of the good and bad elements of the story. So firstly, I have to say the art in this I thought was absolutely beautiful. The line work is simple but very clean. There's simple color washing techniques applied so that the paneling is, is it isn't overbearing to you, but the color is very effective and enriches the story and the depth of the imagery presented. Color also actually plays a pretty big part in the story in terms of showing you different perspectives, different viewpoints, and it's a way to help you distinguish what specifically is going on throughout. I think it's also worth noting that for the majority of the story, the author actually hand drew and painted the majority of the, the panels, which I think is super impressive, especially considering the really precise art style that is utilized throughout. Next, I thought overall the story was just really accessible. It wasn't too dark, it wasn't too heavy, it wasn't, you know, very difficult to read, very easily digestible. I think the, the audience appeal for this 
could be really huge. It could be for, for kids to read and enjoy. It could be for adults. It could really be for any age because I feel like in a lot of ways there's kind of something for everyone and lessons to be imparted here that anybody could understand and appreciate. The only other note here would be the story in itself is fairly simple, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. The simplicity certainly has a kind of charming quality to it and it almost reminds you of the peace of mind of, of being a kid. Now to go on to my final thoughts. So. As you can probably tell from everything I've said so far, I thought this was a really beautiful story. The storytelling was, was really great. I thought the author did a really good job of getting their ideas across successfully, but it felt organic. It didn't feel like they were trying to impart any sort of agenda. It was all just very organic and you can appreciate what it is and what the author is trying to impart. I'm really excited to see what, what this author does next and how they continue to grow in their in their storytelling complexity and, and narrative skill, and also to see how their art style continues to evolve and change in, in future works. I really would recommend this for anybody if you're curious about reading an, an immigrant story, a coming of age story, a lighthearted graphic novel with beautiful work, I definitely think this would be a great choice for you. If anybody has read The Magic Fish, please let me know. I would love to know your thoughts. Did you enjoy this book as much as I did? As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.